Hey, Gavin. You. What's up, man? Hey, Good man. Good to see you. Welcome to the studio. Thanks. Come Thanks so in. much. And you'll walk through like this, and you'll come back to the lounge back here. Be a nice lounge with some couches in the corner, and we're going to have a staircase that comes across and goes down. So this in here is kind of like our lounge area. So when we're not making music or sometimes we're on our laptops and it's a kind of a fun place to, to hang out. And then we have an office up there where we get some work done. And there'll be a new door that will go right here. Actually, there's gonna be a wall right about here. And in that, we'll have a door into the studio and you'll walk in. Most people would do a lot to have this much square footage and the ceiling height that you guys have. Yeah, well actually when we when we picked this space, I think that was the main draw. When it was unfinished, we walked in and we have 17 foot ceilings and these big windows with all this natural light in there. And that was kind of the reason why uh, we said, okay, this is, this is the spot. It worked really well for us too. Classical music is generally recorded in halls. Right. And big spaces. And so you're kind of sacrificing a little bit going into a small studio room. So there's a nice balance. We've got tall ceilings, plenty of room for the, the sound to, yeah. to ring. I think shortly after we bought this space, we realized that um, it's probably the worst place <laughs> in the world to put a recording studio. Sure, yeah. But we loved the room and we thought it was really cool. And then you'll get all these beautiful windows. It's gonna be great. And we almost sold the unit, I think, because we were so worried about the sound issues. But yeah. um, working with you has been great to really figure out, hey, how do we isolate this mm -hmm. uh, enough to be able to not impact yeah. the other businesses in the building? But actually, funny story, you know, I had to break news to the, the tenant downstairs that we're putting in recor recording studio. Of course, he's an acupuncturist. He needs a quiet space. Yeah. Um, so I meet this guy and, uh, you know, I'm telling him, hey, you know, we're going to put a recording studio up upstairs and as I'm telling him the story one of our tracks comes up over the radio <laughs> I swear and uh, and I was like actually um, you know you're playing our music right now uh, and this is what it's gonna be like and he was yeah. like you mean uh, like you, you make music like it's this similar, and I was right. like no uh, this is our music and he was like I don't believe it he pulls out his phone because he's streaming from his phone and it's like a picture of my face and yeah. he's like oh my god <laughs> that's awesome well that's probably comforting for him because like if it does leak through, it's similar it's, to what yeah, he's playing just anyway. Just turn your so, radio off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we did a full room within a room, floated floor. Um, you know, we uh, you went to a lot of a lot of effort to isolate it and be a good neighbor. So, yeah, and yeah. thanks to you, we used the right materials. If you put them in the wrong order, you know, that's what, what I learned throughout the process is you can use the right material and just put them in the wrong order or yeah. not have enough material. So building that test room was really yeah. helpful because it failed the first time. Mm -hmm. We had to beef it up and then we said, okay, let's tear this thing down and build the real build thing. Build the real thing, yeah. We, we were kind of torn when we were putting the studio together. We really kind of wanted the space that really looks not so much like a recording studio. Personally, I love the look of a recording studio. I love panels and all that. And so because we were kind of torn by that, we said, all right, well, we have half the room uh, for mixing and half the room for recording. Why don't we split it up and we'll make this part look like a studio. Uh, kind of ends up looking more like a spaceship uh, yeah. than anything. But this is kind of like the business end of the music. And um, over here, it's really nice because you, you would never know that it was a recording studio. Yeah, we tried to hide everything in this back half of the room behind stretch fabric. We have the wainscoting down below, which gives it kind of that more residential look. But then up above that, it's it's all stretch fabric and gave us also the ability to really fine tune what type of acoustical materials we put where, because behind that fabric, it's not all just absorption or, you know, there's some more uh, reflective or hybrid type of materials behind it. So we could really dial in like what this side of the room sounded like, because it was so crucial for what you guys do. If you really stand and look at it, you'd say like it could be painted. It looks like drywall. You know? yeah. yeah. Every time we come in here, I have to tell everybody, okay, rule, the, the only walls. rule in the studio, <laughs> don't touch the walls. Yes, yes, you cannot touch the walls. It's just such a great room for chamber music, I think, in general. You can really set up a mic anywhere in the space, and it's going to sound good. Like, I don't, I don't really have to think too much about <laughs> mic nice. placement or group placement to really get a good sound. Yeah. Listening to our older recordings um, from our previous space, you can hear it immediately, uh, you know, when we made this move yeah. to this studio. There's just such a big difference in the, in the sound quality. And mm -hmm. what's cool is that we were actually using pretty much the same equipment. I mean, there's a 
a few changes here and there, but as far as the microphones and the mm -hmm. preamps and all that, that stay the same, but you can just hear, you know, yeah. as soon as you go into a, a better room, it's yeah. a massive difference. When I was looking to buy this piano and I was trying all different pianos, the room I tried it in was like really, do you remember? It yeah. was a huge like New York City apartment and it was very live, like bare floors and high ceilings. And so I love the sound of the piano. And then we brought it home to our house yeah. in New Jersey and we treated that room as our recording studio. It was so dead. Now it's finally like sounding like how I originally played it because you can hear it more. It's brighter and mm -hmm. it's just, this is the perfect room for it. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Well done. Thank well you. Done. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>